Morning traders, and this is your Dow Jones Daily Review. So, I've kind of forgotten that the Americans had a holiday yesterday. So, um, but anyway, we did continue moving up ever so slightly. And by the looks of things, we are aiming for this breakout retest. Okay, so this is looking like 26727. And then we need to see what transpires from there. So we do have an inside bar. We got continuation yesterday, although I'm not. I won't, you know, I'll take this with a pinch of salt because it was a public holiday. So, you know, take it with a pinch of salt for now. But um, we do have an inside bar, inside bar on the daily, off the level, which is a 200 moving averages. So there is a, a fairly um, strong possibility that we can move to the upside. But the confirmation is only really going to be above a break of two six, sorry two five eight nine, yeah two five nine fifty. So a break above two nine five fifty, that gives us a confirmation for the move to the upside, but that also gives us a double bottom or a W bottom on the Bollinger, which is a seven hundred point trade. Okay, so that's kind of the view that, that, I, that I have right now. But what is concerning me is these little bars. There are sellers stepping in, and uh, not off levels, but sort of at the close. So they let it rally, and then it close, it drop down, close, drop down, close, drop down. So it could be people scaling in, or it could be people just taking profit. Okay, so um, four hour, we have a grouping here, and it is diversions. See there, there's a previous high. We're making a new high here. It's diversions. We have diversions here. Oh, sorry, we don't have diversions here, but uh, we do have a separation of the of the stochastics, which is an indication that something may be about to happen. Okay, and then the next thing that we have here on the four hour is we had a break of a trend line. Now it was one, two, pretty much two touches and we ran along it. So we have had a break. We're now moving back to the upside. Are we moving for a test of the break? Okay, um, or are we just moving to come? Where's my other line there? So that's pretty much where price is at the moment. But you can see there's my inside tail, there's my inside tail. Okay, these inside tails are gone. At the moment, so those two are gone. But um, this one here has been tagged already. The next one up will pretty much be a, a retest of this break, of this trend break. Okay, 25727. So that, to me, if I'm reading what's going on here, that is the area that I am fairly interested in looking for shorts again. Okay, so let's just get down to a one hour and I'll just delete the noise. So we are at a 200 moving average here. You can see we've got. Um, a double top on the oscillators. We've got a grouping happening on the stochastics. We are at a moving average level. And then just want to make sure we have the right thing. There it is there. There's our level. There's our previous level. There's our next level here. And that lines up with the swing low and also moving averages. So this is an area that I'd be looking, well, I am looking for shorts at the moment. Uh, stop for this move is going to be fairly large at the moment. That's 220 points. Um, you're not going to get away with anything else. So in other words, trade size. Uh, for me, because my, my current stop loss on the Dow is uh, 100 points, 
that means a half position, a little bit less than half a position. So that's uh, what we'll be doing. And then if we do break below, um, these fractals here, which is 25615, if we do break below 21, uh, 25615, um, then what I'm waiting for is a bit of a pullback reversal and then add to my position move my stop down okay so that's kind of the the view that i've got at the moment uh, i would also advise for a lower time frame you can see on the half hour as well we really are inside bar inside bar inside bar um, that's actually a pattern that i haven't shared with you guys i speak about it often but basically that body fits inside this body this body fits inside that body that body almost fits inside that body and that is pretty much, it's a, sort of a, a spike or an exhaustion bar. And then we go into a range. And normally it's like a one bar. Uh, every bar is one range. So, sorry, every bar is part of the range. Uh, I suppose we better just zoom in here. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, so you can see inside bar, inside bar. Uh, potential inside bar as well all fitting inside this bar here. Okay, this could also be seen as a flat top triangle. So I've often seen these kind of things, you know, if it breaks below the swing low, which is at this stage 25,682, then you can expect to move to the downside. But this is so narrow that I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't look at trading it. And if you look at it another way, it, if I draw a trend line up like that, it's looking like a flat top triangle. But it's really in such a narrow range at the moment, um, 40 points. So uh, even if we come down to 12 minutes, you can see here you've got an inside bar there, move to the downside. There you've got a piercing pattern. So in other words, it gapped above the green, it finished in the middle of the green. That is a bearish pattern. So it's one, two bearish patterns at the moment. So again, uh, logic at the moment is quite simple. Uh, let's move this across so we can talk about it. Um, if you look at the oscillators, we are extended at the moment. And these are the fractals I'm looking to, to pay attention to. Okay. So 25,682 to the downside and 25,700 to the upside. But I do think, I'm going to go back here, that the upside... We could still move up to 25,720. Okay, 25,720. There is a swing low there. There is a swing high and a swing low. Both of them are fractals. That's on the three hour and not so much on the four hour. We do have one on the four hour. But that to me is, is looking like the area that we want to be be short again. We have got a crossover the moving averages, so it is possible that we, from there, the short only comes back to test the break, but then we'll have our confirmation that the, the trend has changed. Okay, I somehow uh, doubt it, to be honest. Pretty sure that um, the worst case scenario is that this is going to hold up price, and I am still of the opinion right now that this double top so it's actually a triple top one two three and there's the neckline there so i still believe that that is going to play out because we have broken through it and we're looking to come and test the previous lows here That's kind of what I'm I'm looking at at the moment. Okay, whether it happens today or over the course of the week, not entirely sure, but um, it really is what I'm looking at. This was a, a fairly big consolidation pattern that broke through quite aggressively, and now we sort of rallying and, and testing these areas again. So I think expect more uh, volatility at the moment. 
especially with looking at the moving averages like this. And I think until the volatility clears, uh, I'm not really going to move to another uh, strategy, but just focus on the strategy for now. Um, before we leave, let's just have a quick look at the Ichimoku to see what we have. So looking at the four hour, you can see we're retesting the cloud. Okay. And uh, if I use the three hour as a yardstick, you can see I've got a, a bullish cross here off the level. So, and we're in a cloud, which is indicating ranging. So, you know, the, the daily, the trend is down at this stage. We obviously, we need to break above Kijinson for that to change. Uh, on the four hour, the trend is also down, although we are attempting to break through the cloud again, but nothing really concrete. Cloud is flat, Kijinson, Tickinson flat, so not really going to read much into that at the moment. And if we look at the one hour, the trend is definitely to the upside. We broke through yesterday, we came back, tested the cloud, and we've rallied again. Okay, and obviously the lower time frames will be a similar situation. Okay, so nothing really to read into there except the larger time frames that is indicating a trend is down. So I'm really looking for a short entry and I think for me the most logical one right now is just put out both our lines in. I'm using the three hour for this at the moment. Okay. So there's my first swing low, there's my second swing low and there is a swing high as well. And we are pretty much at a level right now. So I suppose we could look at the 71 point stop loss. So if you have a stop a couple of points above this level here, that should give you some, uh, I just want to close this inside bar here because that's possibly also an area. Okay. So wait for the European Open. Let's see what happens. But I do suspect we, well, I would like us to tag the top here, and which looks most logical at the moment if I look at the the trend right now. So on the 12 minute trend is definitely to the upside. Uh, only once we start breaking through these two fractals here is the trend going to change. But uh, if you look at this price action, pin bars, pin bars bottom, inside bar, inside bar, engulfing, lots of price action indicating a, a move to the downside is coming. And I do suspect that this gap will close. Um, so that's 43 points but it's actually long, more than that because there was a gap from Friday. So at this stage, we are almost 100 points from that gap. Okay, so yeah, I am looking for a short entry, not quite here, looking for it a bit higher, one of these two levels. So I'm looking at 25, 720 or 20. 5, 7, 46. Those are the two areas that I suspect the sellers are going to step in. But again, we have to wait for Europe Open and see what happens there. And then we're looking for some decent price action to show us show us the way. Okay, so that's me for today. Um, looking at these two upper levels for trade. If I don't get that, then I'll be waiting down the bottom here at either this gap close or um, the bottom of yesterday's, the lows of yesterday's, to pick up a long entry. Okay, so anyway guys, that's it. Hope it helps, and I'll catch you later. Cheers for now.